Good day, viewers. Just a quick message here before we get into the dig. If you enjoyed the most trap challenge a few videos ago, I think you'll enjoy this challenge here that will be coming up after the digging portion of the video. So stay tuned to the recap and we'll take it from there. All right, let's get into the dig. Good day, folks. Heading out for a dig this morning. He's a wee bit frosty here. There's it right on the side of a busy highway here. Check it out. Yep. Lots of vehicles here this morning. Anyways, hope it's not too loud, but I'm going to head through the woods here. It'll probably be a good 10 minutes anyways. I was here uh, last week. I came to see if I could find the place. I didn't find the spot until I was leaving, but I had already uh, dug around a different area, so I was whipped by the time I found the actual location that I was looking for. So I didn't get a chance to dig around in it too much. I'm heading back in today, and uh, hopefully we'll find something uh, decent there. Uh, not sure how old the stuff's going to be, so this is kind of like an experiment. So <laughs> coming along here with me. Let's go check it out. I'll get you up once we get there. Okay, viewers, I'm on site here now, and looking around, it appears this bank here has been dug at one time, and that big mound in there, I'm guessing, is the dirt from the side of this bank, and it was tossed over into the center of the hole. However, I'm still going to dig around a bit in these roots, because it looks like somebody tried digging and they've given up. Oh, there's a bottle right in there. And I'm going to try uh, cut some of these roots out, see if I can get it out. And uh, we'll see what it is. Maybe it's something good. So, it was loose. and No, it's just uh, something from the 60s, I'd say. Maybe earlier, but it's not embossed or anything. It's nothing spectacular, so I'll leave that one there. Let's keep uh, looking around and digging around. Check it out. There's a cork top JR walking somebody left up here at the base of this tree. I'll take that. Always somebody looking for a medicine bottle or something in their bathroom or something. <laughs> adventure so far folks got a crown top bottle sticking out here looks like it might be a soda or something probably not real old but let's pull it out and see what it is okay interesting university beverages never heard of it it's in pretty rough shape But, uh, it's like 1946 on the base. It's like a six with a dot after the Owen to Illinois glass mark. Hmm. Um, alright, well, I'll set it aside. Alright. Find here, folks. It's a screw top, but I already picked it up and wiped the edge off here. It's a uh, wild root hair tonic bottle. But like I say, it's a screw top. The embossing's quite weak on it too. Can you get a date off it? No, I don't, I don't think so. Well, that's probably going to be like, I don't know, late 30s or 40s probably. Okay, there was another one in here too, but I don't, I can't get it out just yet, so I'll get you back up in a couple minutes. Well, folks, I've been digging around here for an hour or so, and I'm just not having any luck. I've got a couple, couple blue ones, but nothing uh, real spectacular, nothing worth digging any longer here for. Um, there's a few older shards, but like I say, no a big concentration of them or anything that I've found, so maybe I'll come back at another time when I just got some time to play around and do a little more digging around, but like I say, I'm pretty sure this has all been 
dug out and piled into the center here so anyway so might have some good luck up around the edge but even though looking around there it didn't look too promising so all right later good day folks i stopped on the side of the road here to check a little spot out and i found some debris down in here lots of old galvanized buckets and stuff like that tin cans some metal debris some glass in here too but anyways i don't have any uh digging implements with me so i'm going to go back to the vehicle and grab something kind of scrape around here a bit just to see what might be underneath this stuff and uh if i find anything i'll get you back up on if not i'm going to head uh, to a different location and do some digging there well so far folks this has just been your typical like a 40s site but uh few interesting well kind of interesting things big amber squib bottle god i found three of those here this would have been nice if it wasn't busted up this piece of stoneware vase Got a little cobalt blue and this brown uh, ceramic doorknob is a pretty good find and this here these do come in uh, a cobalt blue now this is a clear one. It's a bourgeois uh, perfume or powder company. I got a cork top liquor bottle looks like sticking out here, so I'm going to pull that out. Uh, it's just a, an unembossed flask. The base has a nice color to it. And the, it is base embossed with something. JL and company or something JL and C limited I don't know it's nothing uh, nothing to write home about but kind of cool all right let's dig around a little bit more well this little ribbed amber poison just rolled out folks it's a screw top I think it's a one ounce one and that's uh, gonna be from the 40s I'm pretty sure it's 40s maybe late 30s anyways best find so far i guess uh, there's a pretty good squib bottle the base is embossed pretty good so i might take that one too i don't know if i have that size or not all right later a couple more quick finds before we get out here folks got this little cobalt blue uh, bourgeois perfume this is uh, a neat green uranium glass jar that would have been cool pieces to that i'm gonna keep it of course but that would have been cool just the same that forward uh hub cap or whatever you call it and we've got a ball jar right here i think it's a 33 to a 62 one <clears throat> yep ball ideal mason there that is Alright, so I'll scrape around here a little bit more and then I'll probably get out of here. Okay folks, I just pulled over on the side of the road to check a spot. I thought it looked kind of neat. I'm up on the side of a bank here right now. I just noticed these. I picked that up. Down there on the ground. Part of an old lantern. See this here, whatever that is, is there. And uh, else there's something blue right over there. And right here, I got a bottle sticking out. Okay, it's crew it, but the top's busted off it. Well, what's that? A little clam shell or scallop shell or something. Anyways, I think I got an old trash pile in here. I'm going to uh, go back and get my shovel out of the vehicle and we'll see what we can, might be able to dig up here. Okay, kind of in a bit of a frenzy here folks, but uh, I got, just uncovered something here. Let's pull that out, it's a big one. 
Holy jumpings, look at that. I think that's blown. Yeah. It's a slicker though. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's blown though. All right, I'll take that. I'll have to ask me twice there. I see something else right here too. See that? Let's pull that one out. Okay, it's a screw top. All right, let's keep going. Well, that little patch didn't pan out too well, folks. I got that one bottle out of it. I drove up the road a little bit here. I to check out another spot. I'm just in off the road here. I don't know. 75 feet. That uh, big uh, quart beer bottle caught my attention, but it's just a slicker. On the way over to it, I seen this here, and that's a uh, that's actually a gravestone. Like, what in the heck is that doing here? Check it out. It's a BM. How bizarre is that? I don't know if this is actually a grave or somebody placed that there. But anyways, I'm not going to freak around with it. Keep checking out the area in here though. These little ravine places, folks, are great old spots to find stuff, but uh, there's so much deadfall and stuff on the surface that lots of times it's nearly impossible to find what you're looking for. Could be, you know, six, eight, ten inches below the surface. With any luck, you find a big old bucket or something like that sticking out of the ground that tips you off there's an old tire there anyways I need to get up through these trees here and back to the vehicle later well folks no bottles yet but here's an interesting stash of animal traps there is just Dozens of them. Look at them. All friggin' kinds of them. Wow. Interesting. Great big pile of them. Huh. Well, I'll let you go because uh, I'm running dangerously low on uh, space. Good day, viewers. Thanks for joining me here for the show. That's right, it's showtime. <laughs> but before we get started, it's getting near St. Patrick's Day, so I thought I'd do a little St. Patrick's Day theme. And I've got, pick this here up this evening. Oh, Derby Cream Liqueur, 17% alcohol. And this sucker costs $26.50. I was going to go with the... Uh, Bailey's Irish cream, but uh, I thought I'd save myself five bucks and pick this up instead So before we get into anything else, I'm gonna crack that open and uh, I got my happy st. Patrick's Day shot glass here I've never tried this before so, This will be new to me and maybe new to you Smells good. Down the hatch. Yeah, that's really good. Um, I had a wisdom tooth pulled out yesterday, so I didn't want to get anything too high in alcohol content. I thought previously I would try mixing up some Irish car bombs, they're called, but uh, that's going to get into like 60% alcohol, so I thought I'd steer clear of that. 
All right, so there's the first matter of business. And the second matter of business has to do with this small animal game trap that I found in the uh, digging portion of the video. So without further ado, let's get into that. I'm going to clear the table here and get set up. See you in a second. Okay, folks, so here's the deal. If I stick my fingers in this and I live to talk about it, I want to see some thumbs up on the video, okay? I'm a little bit nervous about it. It's a, you know, kind of stepping, uh, step up from the old mouse traps there, but uh, I think I'll be okay. I think I got the luck of the Irish with me. You know? <laughs> and as my old grandpappy used to say, don't bust your shin on a stool that's not in your way. But I'm going to do it anyways. <laughs> okay, so... Enough fooling around on the count of three. Okay, I think this is just like, you know, learning to swim. You just got to jump right in. Three, two, one. <laughs> no! No, 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 Cut, oh, cut, cut, cut. Okay, I think this is just like, you know, learning to swim. You just got to jump right in. Three. Okay, folks, so I'm sure, uh, you know, as part of the deal, you guys all gave me a thumbs up now. <laughs> Remember, we shook on it. <laughs> I got these uh, finds all set up, and in the meantime, I've been working on the old uh, old derby there. Had a few drinks of that and a few more shots. That is mighty tasty. So, not a whole lot of interesting stuff here to show. This here is a big old honker of a bottle. It is blown with a tooled lip on it. No identifying marks on it. No idea what it is. Nice big old bottle though. Some sort of liquor maybe or sauce i don't know and then we got this here which i suspect it was a hubcap off a of model a ford now finding goodies found one of these just in a recent video but theirs was attached to a spare tire cover which would have been on the back of a vehicle but these also were like hubcaps on the tires as well so no telling if that's a hubcap or if it's off the spare tire cover but it's like from the 1930s. And uh, next we got the old J.R. Watkins bottle. Another one's probably from the 30s. It is a cork top, but it's machine made. There it is. And on the base it says, Made in Canada. And uh, J.R. Watkins is just like a generic a brand, medicine brand. Okay, next up we got the big old squib bottle, the amber one, I found a green one in the video just recently, and this one is an amber one, and apparently cod liver oil came in the amber ones, and there's a little bit, well there's a little bit of liquid down in there, but you can see some cod liver oil still stuck to the sides there as well, and a witch hazel came in the green one supposedly, there's a little, another little medicine bottle, Merck. And on the base of this one is the Owens Illinois glass mark with a 9 after it, which would indicate 1939. So this stuff's basically from the 30s, maybe even into the early 40s. Now I got a variety of blue ones out of this particular site. There was three sites in the video, but this is one of your Vicks Vatronol bottles, and this is a, uh, a Bourgeois Evening in Paris perfume bottle. And there was a few other ones as well, I just didn't bother putting them on the display here. And we got the ribbed poison bottle, screw top, one ouncer. Dominion glass mark on the base, so after 1928, we got the old porcelain doorknob, 
I soaked that, cleaned it up a little bit. Nice brown one. And we got one of these ampules. I found a few of these in the past couple of years. And if you're not, not familiar with what they are, they would have had a, a pharmaceutical or a chemical in them, and then you'd snap the top off. I actually dug a whole one last year, and here it is here. No telling what that liquid is in there, but uh, they'd snap the top off, and then uh, I suspect stick a syringe down in there. Whatever it is, they didn't want it exposed to the air. Cheers, folks. <laughs> Happy St. Patrick's Day. And then finally, of course, we got the small game trap. It's uh, one that's made from Niagara Falls. It's a Victor, V-I-C-T-O-R. It's an inch and a half. And, of course, Niagara Falls made in Canada. So, that's it, folks. Hope you enjoyed the video and the vines, and the most- Ah! <laughs> Trap challenge? <laughs>